Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we uh, finished wrapping up some loose ends after chapter four. And in this episode, I decided to do something a little bit impromptu. We're here at the pit of a hundred trials. I'm doing this because I know I can beat the pit. I've beat the pit before. I know I can beat it after the, after the whole game. I'm fairly certain I could beat it after chapter six because that's when we're gonna be like full power but I've never tried going all the way to the bottom at like half power before. We've got one upgrade in both of our main attacks. Our partners here have been upgraded once. We are missing a partner. We're missing a very powerful partner with high HP and high attack power. So this is a little bit of a challenge and I'm not quite sure how it's gonna go, but I think maybe I can do it and I'd like to give it a try. I've already shown the first 50 episodes of The Pit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself back down there. If anything interesting happens, I'll show it, and if not, I'll meet you down at floor 50. Well, here's something that's, that we're going to show off. This enemy has a badge. And soon enough, this enemy will not have a badge. Here is Kiss Thief. Got it. That badge is ours now. There is a massive downside to using Ms. Mouse in battle, and that is the audience hates her. You might have heard the boo when she attacked. You get very little star power for executing her moves, and audience members leave whenever she attacks. So yeah, not a combat partner, even though her main attack does pierce defense. I'll see you if anything else happens. I want to try something here. I have a theory and I want to test it. This is a... Yeah! I thought so! Flurry can blow away Dodgy Fog. That was a very expensive way to find that out, but I had to know. Level up. I've been thinking about this one. I am starting to hurt for HP a little bit, but I think it's more important that I have BP right now because I need to get my damage dodges back on. So that's what I'm gonna do. And now I have to think about if I wanna go for HP next time or if I wanna go for one more BP to try to get uh, Flower Saver on. I'll think about it and I'll have an answer by the next time I level up. Looks like we found a new enemy that we can tattle, which is very convenient for us. So let's tattle the Spike Top. That's a spike top. It's a buzzy beetle with a spike on its back. Max HP is 5, attack is 3, and defense is 4. Like other buzzies, fire and explosions have absolutely no effect on it. But you can flip it over to drop its defense to 0. I'm sure you know this already, but try not to jump on it. That spike hurts. Well, not in our case, because we have equipped spike shield. There's spike shield in action. We got our next level surprisingly quickly. I've decided that because of how fast we're leveling up and we're still not even through the first half, I am actually going to go for Flower Saver. So I'm going to need four more BP, I'm going to take it this time and next time, and then the, when we level up after that, I'm going to get more HP. I made it to floor 50. It was pretty uneventful. We're doing very well for our HP and FP. We're doing pretty well for our star power. I leveled up twice, I have not had to use any of my items yet, and I also used Ms. Mouse to steal two badges. Here is my current badge setup. I've got, obviously, Attack FX. I've got Spike Shield. Currently I've got fire, uh, Flower Finder. I've been switching between Heart and Flower depending on what I need. I've got Power Plus for both me and my partner. Both damage dodges. Quake Hammer. Item Hog, which is not strictly necessary, it can just give me a little bit of extra stuff, like if somebody drops a mushroom and I'm missing 2 HP on Goombella, I can drop something, eat the mushroom, and then pick it back up. We've got Quick Change, of course, Multi Bounce, and Power Smash. Currently saving up for Flower Saver. When I level up one more time, I'll take BP, I'll probably take off Item Hog and put Flower Saver on. Then my plan is to go for HP next, and then keep going with BP to see what we can get. So I'm gonna make a cut now, just so my computer doesn't get mad at me for making a video that's too long. And then we'll go down and see if we can finish the pit. All right, let's go. It's now or never. 
floor 50 is, is where things start to heat up a little bit. It is certainly going to get worse, though, so hang in. Hmm. We've got two new enemies here. Let's, uh... Let's get to tattling, I guess. <clears throat> I am definitely more scared of these purple guys. That's a badge bandit. He's a bandit who'll go after your badges. That jerk. Max HP is 12, attack is 5, and defense is 0. He has high attack power and HP. He sometimes steals a badge when he tackles you, so use your guard carefully. And even if he gets one, keep your cool, okay? If he runs from the battle, you can always find him and re-engage him. That's right. We already knew that, but that means that, in fact, if a bandit steals something and runs, you have to fight the whole battle over again. Can be pretty dangerous. I'm going to use an Earth Tremor to get the other one down to half, and then he can be taken out by a jump from either me or Goombella. Yeah, the Badge Bandits are definitely a little bit scary. They have high HP and attack, but they have no defense, so keep that in mind. Powerful Puff. Yeah, they are not playing around. Once you go down that pipe to go down to floor 51, the enemies do get pretty tough. That's an ice puff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that maybe. There is a way that you can touch them when they're frozen, but we don't have that yet. <laughs> like I said, we're only kind of at half power. There is actually a badge from Chapter 5 that would be uh, kind of nice in here. Although then again, it's a little bit of a niche use, so I guess I'm not that worried about it. Luckily, we are gaining levels in here. Which, of course, probably means that once we get back to Chapter 5, we won't be, but oh well. I'm just gonna throw away that Thunder Rage so I can use that Dried Shroom on Goombella. 1 HP is 1 HP. That's why I have Item Hog, just so little drops like that can help keep us refilled. If I really need something, I'll probably put on Heart Finder or Flower Finder. I think we're okay for now, though. Oops. Tried to go for the Spin Jump. Missed. Oh boy. Oh no, I did get it! It gave it to me! Okay. I think this ought to do it. Yeah, because then Goombella can take out the guy in the back. I will tattle that boo, but I don't want... Don't want that guy to use the item. I can't use Ms. Mal... Oh, really? I can't use Ms. Mouse to get the item from the guy in the back. Because first of all, he's in the back, and Ms. Mouse can only get the guy in the front. But also, uh, we're full on items. That's a dark boo. Purple just looks so wrong. These boos are so creepy. Max HP is 8, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Its HP and attack are high, but they're just like ordinary boos otherwise. So just attack it like a normal boo. Get it before it turns invisible. If we don't miss... Great. Ugh. Come on, there we go. Goombella is running low on health. I actually might take Item Hog off and put HP Finder on. Flower Finder might be good too. Ooh! See, this is why I use the Item Hog badge. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. Give me that, give me that! Thank you! I'm going to use that, and then I can put on Heart Finder. These badges are very useful. Oh, I have Flower Finder on right now. I'm going to change that to Heart Finder. These badges are super useful. They're always useful in the pit, but they're especially useful if you're going down early. Here's another Dark Boo. This is not the only place we can find these guys. This doesn't look good, I think. I think we're going to do a multi-bounce. 
And then I think we can show off Vivian's new attack. She has the Power Plus Partner, so this should kill them all. How to do it? Yep. That's what I thought. There were too many of them, and one of them had a healing item, and I just did not want to deal with it. And we're about to level up, so it doesn't really matter that we've, uh, that we're missing so much FP. In fact, it doesn't matter at all, because we just got a honey syrup. Don't be afraid to shuffle your items like this. If you pick something up and you can't carry it, but you can use it, just do it. You're not losing anything by using it now instead of, you know, saving it for later. You can't carry it anyway. Ooh, these guys. These guys need melon. I don't know if I'll actually be able to hurt this guy, but it's better than getting first struck, potentially. Let's see. Oh, I still did two damage. Not bad. Mm, I don't think we bother with Yoshi, actually. I think we are with Tremor. No sense in using all the, the, uh, the FP on multiple gulps that wouldn't even take them all out in one hit. And again, we're probably going to level up off of this battle, so it didn't really matter what we did. There we go. Even in the bottom half of the pit. There goes Earth Tremor still being useful. Alright. Leveled up. We are going to take BP so I can put on Flower Saber. And the next level I am going to do HP. Going down the pit can definitely change your plans for leveling up. Especially if you're doing it early. <laughs> Look at all that stuff I got. Alright, so we need to take something off. Oh. I think I can take off Item Hog. What else do I have? Spike Shield I want. Heart Finder I want. I actually don't need Heart Finder right now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle between Item Hog, Heart Finder, and Flower Finder depending on what I need. Let's put on Flower Saver, and with that 2 BP, I can do something. Let's see. What can I put on for 2 BP? I can put on Chill Out, which is nice. I think what I might do is just... Well, look, Fire Drive is only 3, so if I gain another level, I'll get it anyway. I mean, I guess I might as well just leave it. Could always throw Timing Tutor back on. Alright. That's good for now. At some point, I am going to need more BP because I am going to need Fire Drive, but we have a little bit of time before that's going to happen. Oh, hey! Ah! This guy is really nice to see if you have the other partner that we don't have. However, a good old Quake Hammer will take care of him. Just like any cleft. That's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. Max HP is 6, attack is 5, and defense is 5. Defense is high as usual, and fire attacks don't work against it. If you can turn it over with an explosion, though, its defense goes down to 0. Um... Yeah! Do I Earth Tremor? Hmm... Because here's the thing, I can super guard that guy, and also, I can't really hit him anyway. Yeah, let's see if I can just take out a boo. I did. I think that was the better use of, of time there. Yeah, because I can just super guard that guy, no problem. Okay, so much for that. Um... I don't know, there's not all that much to do here, really. I guess I might as well do a quick hammer. I've got Flower Saver on, so now it's only, uh... It's only costing me 2 FP, which is actually fairly nice. Flower Savers do stack. However... Yeah! That was really good. Flower Savers do stack, however, you cannot go below 1. So the lowest anything will ever cost is going to be 1 FP. Which makes sense. I think it would be a little bit broken otherwise. You could just consistently do multi-bounces every single turn for free, or power... Okay, waste your turn doing that. Or, uh, power smashes. Yeah, that, 
I would be a little bit broken. Already getting those moves for one FP is pretty good. If I see any movers down here, I will be taking them. I'm not going to skip treasure, of course, because I want all the treasure. But I'm really not meant to be down here yet. So if I can save myself some trouble by skipping floors, I am going to. There are people who come down here, like, in the middle of chapter chapter one. Oh, why did I do that? I should have jumped. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, there's people who come down here in the middle of chapter one and get all the way down and fight the boss and everything. It's pretty crazy. Alright, so this is just going to be an Earth Tremor Fiery Jinx from Vivian, I think. I do take bandits very seriously down here. Don't totally take my word for this because I'm not a thousand percent certain, but I'm pretty sure that if you beat all bandits except one and one gets away, you have to fight the whole fight over again with all of the bandits that were, were originally there. And that is why I take bandit battles seriously. All right, Vivian. I thought Fiery Jinx was supposed to cost five. I did put Flower Saver on, right? That's weird. Hold on, as soon as I, uh... Does anybody need that mushroom? No, uh, yeah, Coops needs it, actually. Yeah, as soon as I get that sorted out... I'll, um... Let me check. I did put it on, right? Yeah, I put it on. Weird. Fiery Jinx was only supposed to cost five. I wonder if it was written wrong and it only charged me five or what? That's very strange. Because Fiery Jinx is a fire move, it will do extra damage against Puffs. Doesn't matter here, because there's only one and I'm quake hammering this guy. But it is something that could be good to keep in mind if you've ever got a large group of puffs, and you just need them to go. Ah! Great. That's actually not a problem right now. Yeah, the next time I can, I'd like to look at the, uh, the FP cost for Fiery Jinx again. Yeah, it says 6 FP. It's not supposed to be like that. Weird. Well, that's not great. If anybody knows what's happening there, let me know, I guess. I'm gonna change from HP Finder to FP Finder. Got some FP there anyway. But we don't need HP right now. Or sorry, Heart Finder, excuse me. Oh, I don't have either of them on right now. I've got Item Hog on. I'm gonna change from Item Hog to Flower Finder. I think what I'm gonna do is if I need hearts, I'll put on Heart Finder. If I need flowers, I'll put on Flower Finder. And if I need neither, I'll put on Item Hog just to see if I can get anything good. This is a big pile of nope right here. Alright, let's get this guy. Alright, I'm actually gonna have Coops take care of this then. That's what happens when you miss your, your uh, spin jump attacks. Oops. He got me, but he didn't actually get a badge, so that's nice. Let's uh, take him out here. And see, with five damage like that, I'm already thinking about putting on Heart Finder. That's why I want more HP. Because one attack should not be able to make me that freaked out. In fact, as soon as we fill up a little bit with the, with the FP, I think I'm going to switch them. 15 HP is really too low to be down here. Unless your Super Guard game is, like, super duper on point, it's really just not enough. At least for me, it's not enough. Okay. Do we go for... Yeah, we go for the Earth Tremor. I'm trying to think what I do next to do those puffs.
I don't think we need to spend a bajillion FP to use a Fiery Jinx. I think we'll just kill one Puff and then we'll deal with one for one more turn. Not the end of the world. Even if he ices up, which he didn't, we would have had ways of dealing with it. We could have had Melon come out and do a mini egg. I want to check the rest of my FP moves. I could swear that at least one of them was down? Hmm. That's gonna bother me way more than it really should. Well, let's just keep going. We should be getting to the end of the 50s soon. Yeah, here we go. What's our reward? Also, what does Gimbella have to say? This is an intermediate floor on the pit of a hundred cha. We've seen this. Alright. Double dip! That is so good! Okay, thank goodness. I was getting a little bit worried because this is a badge that I didn't have coming in. And this is one of the best ways to deal with amazy daisies. You'll see that when it comes up. Double dip is a very good badge. Wear this to become able to use two items during Mario's turn. Requires FP, 4 FP to use. It's better than you'd expect. It already sounds pretty good, and it is even better than you think. This is the pit of a hundred trials. We just gotta keep on fighting and descending. But this endless repetition of rooms is starting to totally wear me out, you know? I guess we got a soldier on, though. You said it, Goombella. These guys are kinda spooky. I would say floor 60. Yeah, there we go. I would say floor 60 is where things really start heating up. In fact, I would probably even say the 60s are worse than the 70s, and then there's another spike in the 80s. That's a dark Lakitu. It rides a rain cloud. Max HP is 13, attack is 5, and defense is 0. It attacks by throwing pipes at you. If it's holding up a pipe when you jump on it, you'll get hurt. And sometimes the pipes it throws turn into spike and into sky blue spinies. Whoa! If you only attack the spinies, you'll never win. So go after the dark Lakitu. I think it's time to show off art attack. Draw around the enemy as many times as you can. It is... Huh? What just happened? If you get a full circle, you get three. If you only get a little bit, you get two. And if you only just sort of touch them, you get one. I have no idea what happened there. I actually did not want to kill them, so that's good. Because we have to tattle the sky blue spinies. Ouch. Alright, let's tattle this fool. That's a sky blue spiny. It appeared from a pipe thrown by the dark Lakitu. Max HP is 6, attack is 6, and defense is 4. It'll totally charge at you. Sometimes it balls up to defend and store energy for an attack. If you can, beat it and any buddies it may have with a special attack. We do not have any special moves stored up right now, but this needs to go. So I'm going to use one of my Thunder Rages on it. It didn't kill it. Oh god. Okay. That's fine. Because now we can use a Quake Hammer. I honestly, I just wanted to get those guys out of there before they threw more of them. And now that we don't need to tattle them anymore, we can just do whatever we need to do to take care of them. Oh, I'm feeling the burn for both HP and FP. I am going to leave that spite pouch there. I would rather have the empty item slot. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Got interrupted. But, okay, let me just uh, remember where we're at. I've got Flower Finder on. I think, yeah, Flower Finder is good for now. It's been a little bit of time since before the cut. I got, like, really interrupted. So I don't remember exactly what we were doing. I'm pretty sure we're in the 60s, which means that things are really getting... Oh, God. Oh, boy. How do we make that guy not use that item? I'm not sure we do. We might just have to take it. All right. Well, if we have to take it, we have to take it. Let's get the title. That's Dry Bones. It's a former Koopa whose spirit animates its bones. Eek! That's so freaky! Max HP is 8, attack is 5, and defense is 2. 
When its HP goes down to zero, it collapses into a pile, but it'll eventually rise again. Fire and explosions will put a permanent end to it getting back up, though. A dry bones will sometimes build friends if it feels it's outnumbered. If you don't take them all out close together, they'll just keep coming back. Let's wipe them out all at once and quick. These things totally freak me out. Alright, so we're gonna take out a partner who's got some HP. And I think we're just gonna appeal here. This is gonna hurt. Oh god. It didn't use it. It didn't use it! Thank goodness. Alright. What can we do? Will a multi-bounce actually... Hmm. I think we're gonna do a Quake Hammer here. Because I want to take him out with Vivian. Oh no! Oh, that's really bad. Alright, you know what? We're actually just gonna heal. Because Vivian's probably gonna miss, and if she misses the one with the, uh... With the freezy item, then we're just done. Ugh, that stinks. I guess that's why we have healing items. Alright, let's just hang in for another turn. That's good. Alright, so the good news is we can do an Earth Tremor now, and as much as I hate to use our remaining star power, I think I'm actually gonna do it. These guys need to die. And I don't have any other good way of doing it with that stupid fog. And now I guess you get to see what happens if you don't kill them with fire and explosion. They just collapse. You do get the star power though, and that's actually really good. That brings us one battle away from gaining a level, so that's, that's good. I don't feel quite as bad about how that battle went now. Let's see... I'm trying to think who I want to have out when I level up. Flurry's not doing too great, and I am gonna want her for her larger HP. If she... <laughs> she could have more! But oh, oh boy, okay. They're here. This is gonna happen eventually. This enemy type is notorious for- oh boy, there's a dark craw. I told you, the 60s are rough! <sighs> but yeah, the, this enemy type here is known for being kind of rough, to put it lightly. The good news is we are about to level up, so let's just, uh... Let's just calm down and take out this battle without dying and then we'll be fine. That's a dark wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries-old thing. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 2. It uses magic to attack and alter your condition, so stay on guard. If there's only one left, it'll multiply itself to confuse you. I know they look totally goofy, but they're actually pretty tough enemies. They are. They most certainly are. We'll just take these out one at a time, and I think it's probably time to consider putting on fire drive. Oh gosh! You are dodgy. Okay, that's fine for right now. Hold on, I'm adjusting my microphone a little bit. We need to get Goombella. <sighs> yeah, we need to get Goombella out of here. I'm actually going to take out Ms. Mouse just to sop up some damage. Um, no, I take that back. I think Koops can take that guy out in the front. Yeah, and then he can stay out for a little bit. Alright, let's just, uh go about taking these guys out. I might get Melon out here to do a little bit, dam little bit of damage, too. In fact, I think between me and Melon, we can probably kill that guy next turn. I am also potentially about to die. That's not good. I have life shrooms, but I really, really, really need them. However... I'm gonna take a bit of a gamble here. I think if I get this wizard on its own, 
it should multiply next turn, which is going to take up the entire turn. Oh, God. Oh, thank you. Okay, that actually worked out fine. I'm just going to do a gulp here. No, I'm not. We need Goombella out so she can get the heal. You know, we're just going to Earth Tremor because we are about to gain a level. And I just want to kill this thing with Goombella out so she gets all her HP back. The things I do for HP management. That's what you got to do down here. It really is just micromanaging everything. Playing with fire talking while doing this. <laughs> I'm going to get overconfident one day and that's going to make me mess up. Okay, I want HP. Give me HP. And then the next level I get, I think I'm going to take BP? Because I really am getting to the point where I want Fire Drive. It's not vital yet. But it's getting there. Let's see. What do I have equipped right now? Fire Drive is three. You know what? I'm actually going to take Spike Shield off. Because nothing down here is spiky right now. Well, that's not true. The Dark Cross spike is spiky. But I've got, I can hammer that guy. Mm. Take that back, actually. I want to be able to jump on the Dark Craw. What can I take off? Not much. Um, I'm not multi-bouncing much. I could take off Timing Tutor and multi-bounce. And chill out. Okay. I might regret that. But we'll see. Chill out's a lot. Well, chill out's actually really nice down here. But I, I do want fire drive. Because now we're starting to get enemies. Oh, gosh. Come here. Now we're starting to get enemies with two points of defense. And fire drive actually pierces defense. Oh, jeez. Time to show off fire drive. We can tattle these guys later. Right now, I want them to die. This should do it. Also, of course Fiery Jinx. Hold on. Of course Fiery Jinx is still 6 FP. We don't have FP plus partner. It's just FP plus. Or FP saver. Flower saver. You know what I mean. Speaking of flowers. That just took out uh, half of our FP. Luckily, flower saver is coming in clutch there. Yeah, we can tattle those guys again later. We actually will see them in another chapter, so if we miss them down here, it doesn't even matter. Another Dark Craw. Ugh, what am I doing? I have Spike Shield. I should have, uh... Oh, God. Should have Spin Jumped is what I was going to say. What do I do about this? Art Attack is very expensive. I'm gonna try clock out actually. Let's see if this works. It worked. Perfect. Like I said, that's almost too good. Um, I think we're just gonna get coops for now. Play it a little bit on the conservative side for FP. Because, you know, they're immobilized. We have time. Not too conservative. If I can kill that guy, I will be very, very happy. Ooh! That's always nice. A little extra HP for Koops. I think... I'm actually considering taking FP for our next power uh, for our next level up. To be completely honest, ironically enough, this is a situation where I uh, kind of wish I had multi bounce. That's okay though; we're fine. The only problem is we really are running out of FP. Yeah, I might need to take FP next time. 
We are full, back full on uh, star power, though. I'm almost considering just doing it again. I think we'll be okay, though. Yeah, don't underestimate clock out. Okay. One dark craw we can handle. Yeah, we've got him next turn. If if we'd gotten hit by that uh, by that shooting star, that would have been six damage to both of us. Pierce's defense can't be guarded, and I just didn't want that. Yeah, I think FP is gonna be next. There's the shooting star. That's excellent. Oh, I love to see that. Oops, left a coin. Oh well. That's another thing about the pit. If you can make it through, you'll be rich. Oh boy, these guys again. Uh, yeah, these these Lakitus are honestly one of the reasons that... Oh, only one. Okay. I can deal with only one. In fact, only one is already dealt with. Yeah, this is one of the situations where hammer-style attacks are actually better than uh, jump-style attacks because of the defense. It's still not going to do very much, but, you know. And now, the question is... Well, now, I think I'm actually going to use... Yeah, I'm going to use Earth Tremor. Because it'll hit all of them, meaning the fake ones will go away, and then Koops can just take out the real one. Easy peasy. The way things stand now, I would love it if Flurry could be out for our next level up. Oh, it was all the way in the back. And now it's all the way dead. Bye bye. Okay. We're still leveling up pretty quickly. Not quite as quickly as I like. I don't. I think we're okay with the badge setup right now. It's a little tighter than I'm comfortable with, but I think we're okay. Also, I realized that, well, maybe not. I was gonna say that maybe double dip might not be as useful as I think it is, but I, I think I might be wrong about that. But yeah, for, for certain situations, what we really want is double dip partner. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna do another Earth Tremor. Two of those guys I'm not as scared of, so I think we'll get the tattle now. Sorry if I'm not as good at saying the words that are in my head. Usually I'm pretty good at, like, finishing thoughts and saying things as I think of them. But I'm a little bit stressed down here and I am kind of concentrating. So, apologies about that. Ooh, that's right. We have a couple of turns before he gets back up. So I think we'll be okay. A Fiery Jinx should take care of this. The only problem with that is that it eats up the rest of our FP. That's a Frost Piranha. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Max HP is 10, attack is 5, and defense is 0. Its biting attack sometimes freezes us, so try to immobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks, too, so use them as well. Okay. Good, it didn't actually use its freezing attack. Sure wish I had multi-bounce right about now. That's okay. Koops can, can do it. No! Oh, no, 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 sorry. I thought I hit the wrong thing. We're good. I'd love to be able to get multi-bounce back on. I really love that badge. I use it, use it probably more than most people, which means I probably use it more than I should. But whatever, I like it. But I suspect we're not going to be getting all that much use out of it for the rest of- Ooh, what floor are we on? 68, so if we go down two floors, we'll be on level 70. Take me. We skip a grand total of one battle. But you know what? It's worth it. Whew! Okay, we are full on items, I'm pretty sure. No, we're not. Okay. 
We're close enough to leveling up that I don't want to waste any items, but uh, what do you got? No life shrooms. If you had a life shroom, I honestly probably would have bought it. I don't think I need any of this stuff. I already have four Thunder Rages. I think we're good. What do we got in here? Double dip partner. Excellent. During your battle, let your ally use two items in one turn. That's going to be really important in the 90s. That means... Well, no, by the time we get down there, I can probably just afford to take flowers. Oh, gosh. We have fire drive on, right? Yes. Starting to get a little scary now. Although, like I said, if I, if I recall correctly, I think... The, uh, the 70s might actually be a little bit less intimidating than the 60s. Let's get that guy on his back, first of all. And let's see what this guy's all about. The wizard. The normal variety. That's a wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries-old thing. Max HP is 10, attack is 6, and, def uh, and defense is 3. It uses magic to attack, heal, and alter your conditions, so stay on guard. Its defense is high, but we can totally take this thing. Yeah, that's where a... Oh yeah, that's right! So it says its, its attack is 6. I think its attack is actually variable somehow. I, I don't know exactly how that works, but there's something about it, because notice we, we blocked and we got uh, no damage. Yeah, I don't remember exactly why that is, but there's definitely some sort of variation. Hmm. attack is three. Do we have anybody who can get through? Well, I guess Vivian can, but that's... Ex oh, Ms. Mouse can! How about that? Alright, so I am going to Earth Tremor, because I'd like to take out the guy in the front, and this will take a nice chunk out of the guy in the back. The guy in the back will not multiply unless he's alone, and that includes the Koopa Troll. We already know from experience that Koopa Trolls are just not a threat whatsoever. And you know what? No. I was going to say, I really need to put multi-bounce back on just in case uh, we get multiple Koopa Trolls, but I can just Quake Hammer in that case. Let's show off Ms. Mouse, shall we? Ms. Mouse's love slap move has a very easy action command. Pierce's defense. But, like I said before, the audience hates it. Okay. Ooh, this is not good. Alright, you know what? Vivian also pierces defense, and I think we're gonna need it. Oh no! Oh, I missed that action command. Oh, that was not good. Okay. You know what? It's uh, more important that I heal than I get that guy down. That's unfortunate. I think we're gonna go for sweet treat. Hopefully that should be enough. If I can save an item, I'd like to. Ugh! That was almost really fortunate. Come on. Come on, a little more. <sighs> okay, five is okay. Five and six is not bad. Oh, perfect. Healing, you know what? Whatever, I don't care. Let's take this guy out. I might actually just get Yoshi out, to be honest. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Spin jump should do it. Wow. Okay. Alright, we survived. Did we gain? Yeah, we leveled up. I was kind of hoping Flurry would be out for that, but there will be more. Alright. As much as I'd like more BP, I am actually going to take FP. I think I need it. Okay, and then, honestly, I'm going to take HP again after that. 
BP is tight, but if I shuffle things around as battles come up, I think I'm going to be okay. Because remember, you can always run away from a battle once you know what you need, re-outfit yourself, and then come back. 